Australian uniform, November Bravo, Alpha for Kilo, repeat. Uniform November Bravo Alpha four kilo. I see you, Kilogram. Uh, uniform November Bravo now turning on to Alpha three. Sorry. Uniform Bravo, copy, take you back. Uniform November Bravo. Thank you, ground helicopter Romeo Lima Sierra at Western Grassland, we're close to the way to the main pad four circuit with the go. Romeo Lima Sierra, thank you, Eric. Okay, kilo, hold short of the main pad. Now I assume when I queue here, I don't want to queue across the exit point, do I? Yeah, you're right. So I should pull over here. Yeah, behind that up. I can fit there. Yep. Yep. All right. Got a Victor Fox shot clearance available. Got a Victor Fox shot ahead. Foxtrot, cleared bank down by Camden. Bank sun at departure. Climb by Sid 3000. Squawk 4024. Clear bank down by Camden. Climb 3000 via the Sid 4024. Delta Victor Foxtrot. Bank sun at departure. Apologies, bank sun at departure. Delta Victor Foxtrot. Ground Rescue 209 and cancel pan across taxi. 209, copy, cancel pan, taxi parking. That's Park Rescue 209. Sound ground, got a uniform mic to lose, turn on center. Uh, we're for Nautilus, hang on please. Say again? Uh, uniform mic to uh, turn on center and we're for Nautilus, hang on please. Uniform mic to hold position, you need to go back to tower frequency please until vacated or runways. Uh, wrong box, sorry, uniform mic to lose. Ground uniform November Victor, Diamond is on Bravo, request taxi Kilo. Uh, the Diamond on Bravo, taxi via Bravo and Alpha. Taxi via Bravo and Alpha to Kilo, uniform November Victor. Uniform of Victor. Ground, good day again, uniform Mike Zulu for Nautilus, please. Uniform Mike Zulu, thank you, parking. Thank you, uniform Mike Zulu. This is Robin Victor Charlie Foxtrot at Red Baron. Request taxi for circuit. Victor Charlie Foxtrot taxi via Echo and Bravo to the run up bay report ready to frequency. Taxi via Echo and Bravo to the run up bay with the Charlie Foxtrot. Foxtrot Juliet Foxtrot airways clearance available. Then Foxtrot Juliet Foxtrot. Any idea what's with the delay here? Go ahead, Foxtrot, Julia Foxtrot. Foxtrot, Foxtrot, you are cleared to the goal. Rescue 205, Bankstown Tower, join crosswind runway right, maintain 1500. Uh, join right crosswind, uh, correction, crosswind right, runway 29 right, and 1500 is Rescue 208. Rescue 208. Thanks, that's how you're falling in Fox Shot Diamonds on my right, ready back across then. <laughs> yeah, we just called ready then. Why was that? You're from November Fox Shot, runway right, cliff takeoff. Oh, right, cliff takeoff, you're from November Fox Shot. What? Because of the university, they do things so well. <laughs> we should go back on ground frequency for now, right? Yeah. yeah. Back to Wangadai. A dick. I figured for there was some delay in the tower. No, some delay between there is, yeah. I see.
going on here? Oh, it's just really tight behind them. It looked like they were closer than they were. That'll be a go-around, hey. Oh, unless he goes on the center. Oh, is he going on center? The other guy will be, I think. Oh, okay. That's what I was confused about. I see. That's why it's four in case when people come in, they're too close to each other. They yeah. quickly put someone on the other runway. Oh, did they do that? So you, you think the tower told them to go center at the last minute? Yeah. I see. That you reckon? Yeah, that's about uh, 80 feet or so. 80, okay. What determines whether they do fixed wing procedures? They request it on arrival. Okay. What? Like, why would they do that? To keep their practice, or if um, it's too cumbersome for them to do uh, arrival at Choppers North. Okay. On the main pad. So why do they? Why do they need to practice in case there's lots of traffic and they have to join the circuit? That too, but they're pretty heavy. So if you got them taxing from the main pad around, they disrupt a lot of their uh, I see. Uh, Banks out ground, good day. Rescue 208, taxi back to toll. Rescue 208, ground, taxi toll. Taxi back to toll, rescue 208. Here in November is ready at holding point Alpha 8, runway 29 to right for an upwind departure. From India, Sierra, Bankstown, uh, lineup. Uh, lineup, that's India, Sierra, November. India, Sierra, November. Thank you. Is that the right way to correct them? I don't know. Are you supposed to correct them? I just said that's India, Sierra, November. I'll okay. get it. Okay. India Sierra in November, runway right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway right, India Sierra in November. Right, so Tango, Tango, drop us off for the western side. Right. Hello, Tango, Tango, report to base. Report base, right, so Tango, Tango. Base on tower, Cessna 152. 
2 Mike Romeo Charlie at holding point Alpha 8, runway 29 right, ready for upwind departure. Airspeed's indicating. Temperatures and pressures look good. Mike Romeo Charlie, back to Intel, one up. Lining up. Mike Romeo Charlie. Thanks, Sam Taro, Hachi Julie, Quebec, Oscar, Prospect 1500, inbound with Echo. Flaps are up, power is full. Fuel pump is on. Check the main page, stop and go. Check Quebec, Oscar, Bank Sam Tower, join the downwind runway. The temperatures and pressures are green. Join downwind runway 29 right, maintain 1500, Julie, Quebec, Oscar. Thanks, Santa. Our Cessna 36, Lima Zulu November is at prospect at 1500. CRB receive information echo. Inbound. Just turn right. Yeah. Santa, join downwind runway. I right. thought I had turned right enough. Join downwind runway 29 right, maintain 1500. Lima Zulu November. Right, so Tango, Tango, join Okay, you're confirmed, I'm sure. Okay, everything's green. Laps are up. Pump you can turn off. Uh, repeat. Sorry, do you let it go off? Disregard. Hello, Tango Tango. Traffic's at 22. Just doing a stop and go on the main pad. Western pad. Clear to land. Uh, traffic sighted. Western pad. Clear to land. So it's a Tango Tango. Thanks, down to our assistant, Mike November Foxtrot. Uh, 1,500 over prospect, inbound, in receipt of Echo, Mark November Foxtrot. Mark November Foxtrot, Bankstown Tower, joined down in runway right, maintain 1,500. Thanks, that's our Mark November Foxtrot, joined runway right, maintain 1,500, Mark November Foxtrot. Should I go golf the 44, just in 12 o'clock now for the western uh, pad, main pad, clear, stop and go. Yeah, I need to march, uh, 29 centre, ready. <laughs> everyone's over, transmitting everyone. The 44 high is on. There's a railway line. Uh, so turning west. Main pad, clear, stop and go. Traffic sighted, clear, stop and go, Geo Deco Golf. Mike Raymond Charlie, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, Mike Raymond Charlie. I'd say for the wind a little bit, maybe. Yep. Climb the 2500. Put up the climb. Bank Centre, Alpha 8, cross runway right, line up runway centre. Cross runway right, line up runway centre, Fox Road to get Fox Road. Julia Quebec, Oscar downwind, 200 right. Julia Quebec, Oscar, cleared for approach number one. Hey, that's fog. Cleared yep, that's smoke. Say it's brown as opposed to white. Yeah, yeah, it definitely looks different. Thanks, on Tower, November Papa Foxtrot, Diamond with information Foxtrot, runway 29 right, ready via upwind. November Papa Foxtrot, Bank Tower, hold position. Holding position, November Papa Foxtrot. Romeo William and Sierra, downwind, stop and go, mate. Julia Foxtrot, report passing 2000, runway centre, clear for takeoff. Fox and Julia Foxtrot, report passing 2000, runway centre, clear for takeoff. Report passing 2000, runway centre, clear for takeoff, Foxtrot, Julia Foxtrot. Good night, Julia November, cleared visual approach number two, follow the Cherokee Lake downwind. Clear visual approach, uh, traffic, uh, traffic, looking for traffic, runway 29 right, Lima November. Right, so this is the M7 over here, hey. Yeah. Number three, follow Cessna mid down one. Right, November Foxtrot, uh, clear to approach. Thank you. This is amateur hour at the airport, boy. Sure is. Alright. I'll get 
get you to turn 90 degrees to the right okay. and basically turn on top of the M7 and okay. go to the pipeline. Okay. Clear left, clear center, clear right. To switch frequency, hey. Already have. Oh, you already have, thank you. It was getting, becoming a headache. <laughs> Just yeah, wait, right. you did say that, sorry. <laughs> Sydney Centre, g'day, Helicopter X-Ray Victor Zulu. X-Ray Victor Zulu, Sydney Centre, g'day. G'day, sir, just in 405 uh, requesting a transfer to departures so that when we're off complete we can get the Bondi 5. X-Ray Victor Zulu, Roger, I've been fired, stand by. Alright, taking over. G'day again, X-Ray and Victor, departed Wilson, passing 2500, requesting flight level 140. X-Ray and Victor, g'day, identified in the box, contact approach 1283. Now I'm looking for wind indications, but I don't see a lot today. Um, maybe the clouds are moving this way, but I can't tell if that's just our motion. Uh, it's pretty much negligible, the okay. wind. But well, that's good. Yeah. I'm going to use that strap in a pipe there, this okay. first one. Okay. Okay, there's our line feature, so I'll turn onto it. Okay, you can follow me through. Okay. I'm going to do this first one to the right. Okay. Okay. So as I roll off back, I'll use rudder to keep the nose straight. Okay. And here we are in the slip. How did you go? Roll speed. So notice it's coming down a little bit. Yep. So, so I'll lower the nose. Lower nose. And you can see we're departing the line feature. So we're moving away from the pipeline, but still mostly oriented along it. Yeah. Okay. Now if I increase the step angle, I'm going to use more rudder, yep. more bank. Greater sideways movement, yep. greater rate of descent. Yep. And I've got to use a bit more nose down to keep our speed. Yep. Okay, now to come off this, we come off the bank and the rudder so that we maintain our heading. Right. Going to the left. Okay, then we bank it and we use rudder to keep the nose straight. Right. Or the nose. And now we're coming back to the line feature. To increase slip, increase bank and rudder. Yep. Increase rate of the sink because we're going sideways. More. Yep. There's a lot more drag. Yep. Here we are almost back on the line feature. Yep. So we've moved about 100 metres there. No. So now coming off this, we release the rudder and the aileron in order to go back to the original heading. Right. Okay. Over. We'll climb up to 2,500 and we'll do a circuit back to where we were before. Okay. Do it again. Alright, so clear right, clear centre, clear left, let's turn. Crip. So we're the, all the way. It's at 90. Okay. Oh, 
one, let's turn again, number 90 degrees. Can I turn now or? Yeah, you can, you can turn now. Houston area, X on the sector, caravan, connect and parachute drop, flight level 140, in approximately three minutes, Wilson, Houston area. Right now you can turn on the pipeline and reduce your power to idle. Hold your height until we get into the white. Intercept 75 knots. So raising those a bit higher. Stop your turn. Level latitude. Okay, line it up with the pipeline. We're right on top. Okay, we'll do this one to the right, first of all. So, lower uh, the nose a bit. We'll lower the nose a bit. Right. Now turn right with so the left red, left That's redder. It. Good. Okay, we're going sideways. Airspeed's good, attitude's good. Alright, let's increase the slip angle, so more bank and more rudder. More sideways movement, more drag, so lower the nose a bit more, so we maintain it. Hold the nose a bit more. There we go. All right. Now let's come off the slip. So do it simultaneously. So we hold our heading. Good. Okay. Give it a clear to 1800. Traffic in the Wollongong City Beach area. Wings level. Okay. Well, let's do one to the left. So yeah. bank it. Keep the nose straight with rudder. Good. Now we're coming back. Increase the slip angle. More bank, more rudder. Okay, you can come off this now. Alright, we can climb up. Sydney is a smoky city. Lots of burning throughout the year. We have too many pyromaniacs. I think in this case it was the fire service, right? Yeah. Maybe that's what you mean. It always is. I see. Control burns that go out of control. Is that what happened here? More than likely, I'd say so. On the weekend it did. Alright, that's the first one as you can see. What you gotta do is keep your 
nose straight. If we had a runway in front of us, it'd be pretty obvious what you have to do. Yep. But when you're doing it with drift already applied to the airplane, meaning the aircraft's weather cocking into wind, the nose is already going to be out, so you rudder it straight, then you drop the wing. That's the only difference. I see. Up to 3,500. Okay, let's stay on the pipeline, so keep close to it, because we're going to use it for this next one, so you can actually see the movement. You want me to re uh, close on it, or just stay yeah, parallel? Yeah, hold that heading there, and that'll get us to the start point. So we'll do it going that way. Sounds good. Might get you to take over while I change my glasses, if that's alright. Taking over. It's uh, sunnier than expected. Okay, so here we are on the pipeline. Yep. Now if we're going to do a stall along, or just a side step along a line feature, yep. we have to yaw it off 10 to 15 degrees. Yep. So what I'll do is I'll do it to my side. Yep. So we yaw it off. Yep. Drop the wing. All right, so now we're he we're headed this way, but we continue to go along the pipeline mostly. Yeah. Okay. So you use the yaw off to create the profile. And now the wind, the airflow is still coming from there, but look at the angle our airplane is to yeah. the airflow. Right, so if we had, if we, were, if we were doing a, okay, and if we were doing a forced landing, uh, the field would be ahead. That's right. And, okay, we're losing height yeah. for that. Yep. You can use even more rudder and more ailerons. Greater rate right of descent. Yeah, right. Coming off this, we release the rudder. And let the bank take you back online, then level the wings. Okay. Follow me through. Yep. Okay, so you're it off, 10, 15 degrees. Yep. Drop the wing. Drop the wing. Okay. To increase the slip angle, you're offline more, or aileron. And see there, yep. 1500 feet, feet a minute. Yep. But our airspeed hasn't changed that much. Correct, yeah. Okay. That's the beauty of it, you can get rid of angle with yeah, right. a big airspeed developing, so when you do come out, you haven't got that much energy. Okay. Okay, to come out, release your foot, let the bank angle bring you back online, then level the wings. Release the foot. Release the foot. Level oh, yeah. the wings. 
level. Okay. Alright, thanks guys. Alright, we'll do a 180 when you're ready, and okay. we'll climb up to 3,500. 3,500, 180. Smoke's getting bad. Okay. I, think I guess it's, uh, the smoke is getting worse. I guess it's flowing this way. Yeah. Because it was sap at the training area when we went out. Well, Pete's out navigating somewhere, so hopefully he gets back before it becomes too bad. What's what's the risk? Just that it's annoying, or like uh, you lose. Uh, DMC or what? You lose the DMC. Okay. Because the smoke at the moment is not too bad. You can actually see through it. Like yeah. They keep doing it's worse. It because you see the fogs at one yeah. level. Yeah. It's an inversion level. So that holds everything down below oh, right. level. So if the smoke comes up here, meets the fog, then it's just going to consolidate and get thicker and thicker to the point where it becomes IMC. Yeah, right. I see. And Pete was saying this morning, oh, we're in. May now, no more burning off. <laughs> so much for that. Yeah. They're going to be burning off anytime they get a calm day, and some of those pyromaniacs that are around, they will burn off. <laughs> it's a problem for the aviation industry, isn't it? Also, if you've got asthma. Also, that, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people out here, they all smoke and they all become asthmatics. Oh, yeah. So the, the poor people usually suffer the most. Oh, yeah, right. It's, I mean, I don't have asthma or anything, but it's unpleasant, like... Oh yeah. It feels thick. Yeah, but we've got to go to Asia. When you go to Asia, everyone's burning off there because they're still using um, fire, fires for cooking and heating. Yeah, right. And uh, whenever you're coming in over the water, over towards... Singapore, you, you get this big smoke plume, and it's just always there. Nasty. It's just them burning, burning, burning stuff. Uh, the world environment. Environment Council from the UN. They did a bit of a, a survey for all the oceans in the Southern Ocean and they found that Indonesia was the most polluting country. Wow. 95% of the plastic waste came from Indonesia. Oh, for plastic, I would believe that, yeah. All right. Clear left. Center. Right. Let's go to the pipeline. Do you want me to set up the glide? Yep. We'll do the first one to the right. So okay. you're it off to the right. Yeah, to the right. And clap the right with left. aileron. Add, About there. Attitude controls your speed. Oh, yep. Thank you. Okay, now to increase the slip angle, increase the rudder and aileron to hold your line feature. Not okay. so much that you turn, so come off the aileron a little bit. Keep your rudder on. Keep your rudder on. Keep your, oh, sorry, I see. Keep, Keep rudder the rudder on, on. Yeah. aileron off. Yeah, that's it. About there. Yeah. Okay. I was watching my speed, I see. Okay. Oh, um, so now let's come off this, release okay. your rudder. Release rudder. And level wings. Level wings after you roll back. Okay. Yep. Okay, let's clear the engine to 1800. 
Okay, level attitude. Right, uh, let's do this one to the left. All right. So you're it off. Just a bit more. That's it. Right aileron. Good. We got a thousand feet a minute. Okay, now let's increase the slip angle. More rudder. More aileron. Hold the nose more. Yep. Interesting. Okay. So we're slipping towards St. Mary's right now. Yeah. Yeah. We've got about 4, 13, 1400 feet a minute. And it's about 75, yep. So let go of the rudder. Double now up. wings level, and we're still oriented to St. Mary's. And okay. our speed is pretty much the same. Yep. Too high though, and I'll clear the engine. Or should we go, should we climb? We'll climb now. Okay. We'll do a 180 and climb up to 4,500. Okay. For the turns. Straight into the restricted area. Oh yes, very good. Straight into it. So we were on that side of the pipeline. Not that far. Not that far. All right. He's over the wooded area. Okay. That's where they do demolition. Yeah. Right. No good. Again. We got low on the nose, yeah. back to 80. 3,300, request a flight level 140. Australian Victor, get identified in the box, contact approach 128 decimal 3. 123, Australian Victor. They parallel to the pipeline. Traffic over there. Victor, g'day, identified, approaching the boundary, contact 129 to small 7, g'day. 1297 approaching, to the mic is done. Charlie, contact Banks Town 132 this morning.
picking up for traffic. Yeah, because once we commit to this, um, we can't manoeuvre too well. I haven't seen anybody. Yeah. Looks pretty good in this area. We'll do it here. I'm sorry? Looks pretty good here. We'll okay. do it here. Thanks. Okay, follow me through. Yep. So we reduce our power to idle. Hold our height. Intercept 75 knots. Like there. Okay, level attitude. Turn trim. Okay, to your right, to your centre, to your left. We'll do this one to the left, so okay. 30 degrees of bank. We're doing a gliding turn. Okay. So now in this situation, one foot is higher than the other. Yep, the right, the right foot. foot. So we're going to use top rudder, but we're going to use additional aileron to keep yep. the turn going. Okay. So now pushing in the rudder and additional aileron to keep the turn going. And the the turn angle should may, uh, remain the same. Is that is that right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we are descending uh, just above a thousand feet per minute. Okay. Now if I want to increase the slip angle, I can by using more top rudder, more additional aileron. Yep. Hold the nose, maintain our speed. That increases rate of descent. 1200, yep. 1300. Uh, it's going way up, yep. Yeah. It takes a while for this to respond, hey. That's right. Yeah. So, but despite the high slip angle, yep. I can go and use full aileron. You see that? Yep. I don't have to come off the slip angle, I'll just use the aileron as required in order to, to increase, increase my rate. The turn, turn rate. Yeah. Okay. I've got to do it sharper. So you don't have to. You've still got maneuverability despite the cost controls. Yep. Alright, now to come off this, we want to be simultaneously coming off the okay. rudder and the additional aileron okay. to re establish the turn. So off the rudder and off the additional aileron simultaneously okay. to get back into the turn. Right, okay. Okay, so rolling it this way. Yep. Top rudder is this one here, so yep. the you're out and additional aileron gets fed in to keep the turn going. Yep. Attitude controls our speed. As you can see, we're pointing that way, but we're going there. Yep. Now to increase our slip angle, more top rudder and more additional inter-turn aileron. Yep, that's increasing. Yep. Increasing, because our profile's increasing. The well area, the oh, coming off this, release our rudder and the additional aileron to re-establish the original turn. Yep. Give it a clear. Alright. Handing over. Go. You can climb up and we'll do it no, up 4,500 again. You saw how much I yawed the nose out of the turn. Yep. And it didn't bother the aeroplane any. And there was no tendency for it to drop a wing yep. or do anything like that. And we don't want to fly too far in this direction, eh? Well, you can still go for a bit longer. Okay. Thank you. Oh, 
Alright, when you're ready, you can do a 180. Okay. Damn's pretty. Yeah. From above. Traffic there. Two o'clock low. When you're ready, do us a deep turn just so we can check who's beneath us. Okay. The 2200 report established. There is somebody down there. Singapore 81, turn off. Well. Should we maybe go this way a bit? Yeah. Alright. Start a gliding turn to the left, alright. Cool. Velocity 422, contact centre on 133 decimal 5, getting. Okay. We're going to yaw the nose out of the turn and use additional aileron to keep the turn going. That's it, good. Roll speed with attitude. A little bit too fast. Alright, let's increase the slip angle, so more top rudder, more into turn aileron. Good. Traffic in the Wollongong City Beach area, caravan to with Mike Victor in the And we are descending quickly. Alright, try to turn abruptly. Sorry? Turn abruptly without coming off the slip. Yeah. yeah. Can do. Alright, let's just re-establish the original turn. Good. Okay, give the engine a clear to 1800. Okay, let's reverse the direction. Boom. Okay. can we proceed direct to position the current? Letting turn. Okay, so top rudder, into turn aileron. Tesla 21, contact tower 135, decimal 5. Or bank. Yeah, 135, Tesla 21, good day. Singapore 8122, can we proceed directly? Okay, try to turn abruptly. Singapore 8122, we'll advise. No problem. 8122. Alright, coming off this, back to the original turn. There's traffic 12 o'clock. Okay. Oh, Sam is right. We were supposed to be turning, sorry. Let's do that one to the right again. Let's do the entry drop a bit smoother. Okay. okay. As you increase rudder, increase aileron. That. I like that. Yeah, better. Okay, now coming off it. Good. Keep the turn, yeah. Yeah, keep the turn going. Okay. Alright. You can 
stop this turn. Clear the engine. We can climb up to 3,500. Did you say you'd like to climb to 3,500 or 4,000? 3,500. Three, right. About here? And here it is. Okay, next on the agenda is for you to do a forced landing. Okay. And uh, when we get on the final approach, we'll use side slip to okay. bring both the angle and the speed right back. All right. Rafa cleared direct to Goblin. Cleared direct to Goblin, get a form of Alpha. 24 turn right heading 050. Right 050, okay, flight 20. Traffic over 130 maybe. 48122, contact center on 133, decimal 5, they have your request, good day. 335, Singapore, 8132, thank you, good day. Mayday calls. <laughs> <laughs> Simulated engine fire. Right. Dual, dual, sure. Magnetos. Five. Okay, well, this is an excellent landing site along there, I think, so I'm going to turn. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll go to the offset point, let's say over here. We're already uh, headed toward it pretty much. Um, fuel selection is on, fuel pump is on. Where are we landing? Pressuring that way, along uh, along the big long field there. Oh, actually, St. Saint, Saint Mary's maybe is a better choice. Okay, cool. Let's go to uh, the opposite point for St. Mary's over there. Okay. All right. Uh, fuel selection is on, fuel pump is on, pressure and contents. Uh, make sure we take through the range, oil pressure and temperature, um, switches. To, 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 to try a start, throttle through the range, let's clear it now. OK, 
Okay, Mayday, 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 India's here in November, India's here in November, India's here in November, St. Mary's uh, forced, uh, engine failure forced landing to POB. Okay, so as you heard, we've got an engine failure. Um, it's all right, we're gonna land at the uh, airstrip over here. I need you to fasten your seatbelt, make sure it's uh, nice and tight, no any loose items. Uh, when we land, you pull this tab to release it. Uh, pull this and push to open the canopy. If that doesn't work, pull this and push. Uh, meet me 50 meters behind the plane. For now, you just be calm and shut up. All right, so we are not yet to the offset point. Where's your offset point? Um, I'm gonna say it's nearly below us at this point. Like, I'm trying to get to a third. Okay, I'll say this is the offset point then. Um, so, the funnel, waiting for the third to close in on the rivet line. I need to turn now. I'm gonna do shut down, pull the fuel, turn off the fuel pump. What's the, what's the wing telling you? The wing is telling me I need to keep flying outward. Yeah, well, why yeah. are you turning? I don't know. I'm gonna fly outward. Yeah. The side step can fix a lot, but it can't fix when you do okay. it like that. All right. Wait till it gets to the back of the wing. Back of the wing. Back, back of the wing. Thank you. Okay. I'm level. Not yet to the back of the wing. Wow, okay. Yeah, I was way too close. Yeah. All right, fair enough. I think... Level. I've intercepted the back of the wing. Now I'm going to turn. Just enough to reference. Just enough to reference. And about at the back of the wing now. Turn. Turn to intercept final. Stop your turn there for a second. Yep. Because it's still too close. Yeah. Okay. Right. Now turn now. on to final. Alright, now I'll turn on to final. Okay, it's speed. Aim for one third. Speed's increasing. Flap. Speed's flap. Okay, now let's do a side slip, so kick it to the right. That's it, more right rudder. Keep your attitude now at the near side, drop your attitude. Near side. More right rudder. 85 knots. Alright, that's about enough, hey. Keep going. Keep going. Hey, come off it. Okay. Right, go, around. go around. Alright, well, as expected, I needed the side slip. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have to coach you to do a close approach, you did it all on your own. Yeah. It sounds like that's pretty common. Two miles, 4,300 feet under it. Oh, that's taking over. Okay, your offset point was too close. Offset point was too close. Way too close. Oh, but it's downwind spacing, it's a mile. You're pointing to somewhere off the wingtip. I w yeah, I guess I was. To be over, uh, even with the water, I guess. Yeah, it's the edge of the tree line. This tree line here? Yeah. Okay. I'll fly out to it so you can see. Yep. from November. Off the wingtip now? No, no, I'll, I'll turn and actually oh, so okay. you can see it in, yes, in, in situ. That sounds good. Now, given that I was too close, continuing to fly outward until it intercepted the, the rivet line is the way to go. The back? Yeah, okay. the second rivet line at the back. Now, why is it the back? I thought it was supposed to be... Um, because you're too high. Okay. Because you cramp yourself big time. Alright. Okay. Uh, look what's happening. Where? That. Yep. Where? Okay. All right. A mile is a lot further than I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a mile. Okay. All right. And if you're here, at the height that you're coming here at, you would have been sufficient. You had enough room to maneuver. Yeah. Right. You were half distance, so we had to go much further out. Yep. And um, we still had to use the side slip to get down. So yeah. I should have continued further out, and then okay. Yeah. So, don't hug your field. Trust the technique, because you can close the angle very easily by just turning abruptly. 
Yeah, right. Okay. Yep. You guys all seem to think, oh, I'll lose my field. No, you won't. From here, if we get low, just turn Quickly. straight. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Here's the maneuver. Okay, handing over. We're heading towards Prospect. Is it normal not to be able to hear this here? They're changing it. Oh, they're changing it, I see. Join downwind for one way. Yeah, downwind, one way, two nine. Runway two nine to right. Uh, right. right. Number two, follow the Cherokee late downwind. Uh, uh, the wind is three. Right. Number two behind the Cherokee. Number three five. four zero at six knots, so we should have a crosswind from the right. Is that correct? Correct. Yep. Okay, how else could you get the ADS if you lost your radio? Uh, turn on the ADF and listen here. Okay, do it. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. We're simulating this. Right. Zero four zero right. right. Okay. Bob Harder to here. Yeah, he's still here. Okay. And what else would you do if you were here at this point and you realized that your radio has failed? Um, I would make the call, except I would say transmitting blind. Anything else? What about you transport the code? Oh, yes, sorry. I would squawk uh, 7600. Good. Okay, you can put it to standby and squawk 3000. I also am supposed to check the engine. Alright, I'll make the call. Alright. Thanks, Town Tower. Robin India Sierra November is inbound at Prospect at 1,500 feet with information Gulf. India Sierra November, join downwind runway 29 right, maintain 1,500. Join downwind runway 29 right, maintain 1,500. India Sierra November. Roxanne Tango Hotel, follow the diamond in your one o'clock on downwind. Roxanne Tango Hotel. November Far Fox Foxtrot, downwind. November Far Fox Foxtrot, cleared visual approach, runway right number two, follow the Cherokee turning final. Clear visual approach, runway right, November Far Fox Foxtrot. Another thing you could try also is the fact that we got Another radio. Yeah. Is that COM1? Yeah, it's COM1. Okay. Uh, you can dial it up. The display seems to have gone. I can just see it. So yeah, you turn that on. Select that yeah, COM1. Right here, runway right. COM1. And yep. then you can use it. Try give that a Please shot, yeah. Runway right, November Foxtrot Romeo. Fox Tango Hotel downwind. Foxtrot Tango Hotel, cleared visual approach, runway right, number three, follow the dot. Visual approach, Foxtrot Tango Hotel. Runway right. My right, Fox Tango Hotel. And what sort of a light would you be looking for from the tower? Well, I would be looking for a green light uh, to tell me to descend and join the circuit. Yeah, I've got me that. Can you follow the Cherokee on crosswind? Um, if I saw a red light, I would continue circling at 1,500. Flashing red light means go away. What does flashing green light mean? Yeah, uh, un unserviceable, go away. Flashing green? Oh, flashing green, excuse me. Um, return the land? I'm not really sure what situation they use that, though. If you had a solid red... Oh, and then you got a flashing green. That yeah. means now you can descend. Now that you can re-establish yourself, and then you'll get a green light, solid green, when you're about to land. I see. Uh, I see, so, um, 
Flashing green is something like uh, cleared visual approach. Yeah. Solid green is something like clear for landing. Correct. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah, Under pressure is fixed. Mixture is rich. Fuel pump on. Clear to land. Uh, pressure and contents. Warning light. Canopy. Harness. Altitude. Now help me spot the cricket pitch. I have a lot of trouble doing this. So when you get to about here, yeah. is it that little green one over there? I'll show you. Okay. When you turn to the runways anymore, turn left. Okay. About now? Yeah. Uh, that's it? Stop your turn about there. Okay. Uh, you hold that. You should skirt just to the outside of the velodrome, which is in your one o'clock. Uh, okay. Is that the cricket pitch you talk about? No. Okay. So this is the, the velodrome is the uh, curved roof there. That's right. Okay. Tango Hotel. Six to Juliet Alpha. Don't wait for touch and go. Juliet Alpha. Kilo Romeo Delta. Runway left. Clear touch and go. Yes, clear touch and go. Kilo Romeo Delta. So I make the downwind call about when I can't see the velodrome anymore? Yeah. All right. So that's about now. Yep. India is here in November, downwind for full stop. India is here in November, clear visual approach, runway right, number one. Clear visual approach, runway right, India is here in November. Turn left. I want to be above the velodrome. Keep turning left. The wind's pushing us towards the runway. I see. And you're right aiming right now at the cricket pitch, just south of Bankstown Square. There it is, yep. Quickly, I speed down quickly. The crosswind. Thanks down here, Robin, India, Romeo, November, Fostek Reservoir, 1500 feet, inbounds of Golf. India, Romeo, November, join downwind runway 29 right, maintain 1500. Joining downwind 29 right, maintaining 1500, India, Romeo, November. Alright, I managed to be very steep. You were right hand side of that cricket pitch. Yep, I sure was. November on my right, clear to land. On my right, clear to land, India, Sierra, November. Thank you. Okay, turn now, anticipate the wind. It's slow. Yep. Alpha, runway left, clear touch and go. We go runway left, 60 Juliet Alpha. Back down today, good afternoon. Apollo 24 is approaching the main for Choppers West departure with Golf. Apollo 24, main pad, clear for takeoff. Main pad, clear for takeoff, Apollo 24. on ground, Robin, India, Syria, November, is clear of runway right, request taxi to parking at November. India, Syria, November, ground text to parking. Taxi to parking, India, Syria, November. So, did we learn something from that approach? 
Well, I needed to maintain my downwind spacing. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't do that very well. I, you would say that was the primary thing, right? Yep. Okay. I said to you, there's the cricket pitch, and I wanted to see what you did. Yeah, I'm yeah. Well, you know what? I didn't do it. Turn, turn, turn. I didn't do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I shut up. So that way you can see. The oh yeah, I saw the results for sure. Yeah. yeah. So now, given that I was really high, I put in the, I, I slowed down, um, and I backed off the power. In the end, I mean, it was salvageable. Hey. Yeah. Okay. I, I mean, don't get into that situation, obviously, but uh, yeah. So we're just doubling a bit, um, uh, with information golf, uh, request taxi for an upwind departure. That approach still feels weird to me. I've, I've done the uh, 2 nine left so many more times. Was my taxi to holding point alpha, I don't know if you're on the right. Holding point alpha, I turn on the right. I guess with experience, it doesn't matter, like, if you've done it before or not, but I guess I'm not there yet. Uh, you're, uh, you're too worried about the landing point, so fly your circuit square. So downwind leg has to be square or parallel to the runway. Yep. And Keep basically, the if I give you an aiming point, aim for it. Okay? Yep. Well, I did initially, and then I kind of forgot about it. That's what I mean. Aim for yep. it. Keep <laughs> aiming for it. <laughs> Absolutely. Turning off. Oh, just stay on this side. He'll, he'll get it. Go back to the middle, hey. Alright, he's probably going over to the grass I area. I guess so. Oh, he's holding for us. Oh, I see. So I should... Probably a little bit sketchy with the hover, so... I, know, I see. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to pass close <laughs> then. Yeah, that's what I mean. Maybe I'll go a little bit to the left. Because you maintain the, the cricket pitch, so when you turn at a court, you know that the wind's coming from the north, we've got 6 knots, it's close to 10 knots. Yeah. So you use, instead of 1500, you use 1400 RPM, okay. and you descend with your normal configuration, and then you lower flap at two to 300 feet, normally. Okay. Yep. You yep. lowered it earlier, we got slow, and then I had to mention to you, ah, so oh, I, I, you did mention it, but I, I was reaching for the, like I was going to do that, I, I, I knew that part. But I'm telling you, it's a little bit on the late side. Oh, it was on the late, okay, all right, fair enough, yeah. Fair enough. Hotel Sierra Delta, X-ray, Kilo and Echo. Kilo and Echo, Hotel Sierra Delta. Thanks, and ground, Bristol 1166 is on Alpha, request taxi to parking. Bristol 1166, ground, taxi to parking. Taxi to parking, Bristol 1166. All right, so in crosswind. Keep it square, a little bit less power. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't drop your flaps so early that it, it degradates your, your yeah, well, it's on your final approach. I, I did that on purpose to try to help with the steep angle. Maybe that was a bad idea. Yeah. I want to just back the power off. Back more. the power off. Okay. Lower the nose more. Lower the nose, all right. Yeah, because you've got less thrust, you have to lower your nose to maintain your yep. base speed yep. of 85 to 90. All right, so keep it at 85, lower nose. Yeah. The flat, yeah, flaps was a bad idea. Hey, Bob, if you lower fall flat, you have to compensate for it where you would power. normally not have it. Yeah. Taking over. Oh, sorry, you want to go further over. Down here. Alright. There we go. I didn't know if there was enough room. Well, we'll yep. be, uh, I'll be the park break. We'll Thank you. On taxi way Lima, we press testing for one way two nine. I'll, I'll be in departure. No matter where Delta and have information calls. The switch is off, heavy on it, off, 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 off,